Here is an insert from a car seat. The study focused on the foam padding that comes in baby products like car seats and diaper changing pads. The researchers, led by Heather Stapleton of Duke University, expected to find flame retardant chemicals, but not this. Of the 101 products tested, five contain the chemical Penta, which was banned by eight states as a neurotoxin and phased out by industry. Nine had small amounts of the chemical TCEP, which California has labeled a human carcinogen. And 36 had chlorinated tris, a chemical the Consumer Product Safety Commission calls a probable carcinogen. I became concerned when we were finding certainly chemicals that were shown to be suspected carcinogens or known carcinogens. The study does not identify brand names, but CBS News has learned chlorinated tris was found in three even flow car seats and one snuggly baby carrier. What's causing some of the concern is that flame retardant chemicals are known to migrate from foam into the air. That means that a baby being changed on a foam pad will be exposed twice, first through the skin and then by simply breathing. To me, Dr. Stapleton's paper is a wake-up call. Dr. Linda Birnbaum is the director of the National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences and a leading expert on toxins. I am concerned about not only cancer, but reproductive or neurological effects as well. The developing brain? The developing brain. The makers of Evenflow and Snuggly tell CBS News in a statement protecting children is Evenflow's number one priority and that it uses chemicals to meet mandatory federal and state flammability requirements. The chemical manufacturers tell us flame retardants provide important fire safety benefits, that chlorinated tris is safe for use in consumer products, and says the new study does not show harm to infants because it does not address exposure or risk. Dr. Birnbaum agrees agrees there is no proof of harm, but says that's not the question. I think the question would be, why do we need these chemicals in baby products at all? By coincidence, Professor Stapleton had her second child last week and at home has replaced as many foam-based baby products as possible. In the balancing act between fire safety and chemical exposure, she sees chemicals as the greater risk. Wyatt Andrews, CBS News, Durham, North Carolina.